Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this Rihanna Met Gala inspired look for you guys today. I did this beautiful, oh my god, gorgeous look that was created by Laura Arellano. She is the founder of Melt Cosmetics and she also used to work for MAC. I used to follow her for so, so long on Instagram and I've always been really really mega inspired by her so i just did this draping look for you which is contouring and highlighting with blushes um i hope you guys enjoy it. i love rihanna too i love every look that she has um thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the tutorial all right guys so first i'm starting the vermeer eyeshadow from the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette and i'm using that underneath the brow bone and then I went on top of that with Pink Opal Pigment by MAC. This has a pretty iridescent um, pink look, so that's why I did that. And then I'm going to go in with a blending brush with Bon Fresco from the same palette in my crease. This is going to be kind of like my transition shade. We're going to be working with lots of pink eyeshadows. And then this is Love Letter from the same palette. And I'm using that in the crease and really blending it back and forth, back and forth. Now I'm going to use Max Free to Be Eyeshadow. This is like a peachy kind of a shadow. I'm going to use that right underneath the shadow, the pink one. And then I'm going to pack it on the lid with a flat brush just to intensify it. And then I'm going back into the love letter and really intensifying the outer corners and blowing it out. <laughs> if you see my mouth moving in the tutorial because I had the music blasting and I was singing along. Um, this is Makeup Geek Simply Marlena Eyeshadow. I'm using that with the MAC 217 blending brush and I'm just using that in the outer corners to really intensify. I love this pink eyeshadow, it's so pretty. And now I'm kind of flicking it outward. I'm losing pressure on the brush. I'm flicking it outward to bring it into the temples. This is MAC's Purple Haze eyeshadow. It's like a pinky purple and I'm using that with the 217 just to give some depth to the outer corners. I'm gonna just be going back and forth, back and forth with a lot of the same kind of colors just to give a beautiful blend. Now I'm spraying some Wet n Wild setting spray on top of my brush with the Purple Haze eyeshadow just to give a more intensity to the outer corners. I love wetting eyeshadows. And then I made a hot mess with the pink opal pigment, but it gets fixed in the end. All I did is just put that on top of all the peachy kind of colors that I did, just to give an iridescent vibe to it. And then I go back in and I wet my brush with the Wet n Wild setting spray with the same pigment on top, just to give it a more impact. I love pink opal pigment, it's a great, great pigment. I totally recommend it. Really pretty on the cheeks, eyes and lips so I just go over that but you see how it's giving like an iridescent look now now I'm going with the Vermeer eyeshadow the first shadow that we use from the ABH palette and I'm using that in the tear duct with the same BH cosmetics flat synthetic brush this is Jessie's girls black on black liquid eyeliner I love this eyeliner I got it in my ipsy and it's so pigmented so black it's a little dry um, but it's very very black which I like I'm just doing a straight line on the top of my eyes. Now this is NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, my favorite. I'm using that underneath the eyes to cancel out any dark circles. And I'm using a Real Techniques blending brush. And I do it around the nose too because I always have some redness around the nose. I also forgot to mention I already have some NARS Sheer Glow Foundation on before the tutorial started. And this is Old Faithful um, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm using that with the powder puff underneath my eyes to catch any fallout, and I'm gonna use the rest of that to set my face. Now I'm going with um, the Simply Marlena eyeshadow, the hot pink from Makeup Geek, and I'm just doing that underneath my lash line um, with a fluffy blending brush. Starting to build the shape. And then I'm going in with Max Grape Pigment. This is a beautiful iridescent grape <laughs> color. And I'm just using that in the outer corners and underneath my lash line on top of the other shadows that I used. And then I'm dusting off that um, translucent powder from Laura Mercier with a big powder brush. 
making sure I have none left because I don't want to have a powdery face because we're going to go in with some cream highlight. All right, so this is Benefit's What's Up um, Cream Highlighter. I'm using that with my finger. And then I didn't think it was in intense enough, so I went back in with the actual applicator and I applied it on my temples and on the tops of the cheekbones. See? It's a beautiful highlight. You could also use NARS Copacabana highlighter and it would give the same effect. And then I'm going over that with the pink opal pigment from MAC and I'm with a blending brush. I'm really packing that. I'm not being shy about that at all. None of these colors can you be shy with. You're going to put a ton of it on. Now, this is Dirty Plum Blush from MAC and Tippy Blush from MAC. The Tippy Blush came from the Hello Kitty collection from MAC, literally from like 2008. But any hot pink blush will do, or eyeshadow. You could use an eyeshadow for this too. And I'm just using that as a regular blush, but I'm doing it really, really intense. I'm using an angled brush. And I'm also working that into the temple because you kind of want it to blow out from the temple. And now I'm kind of contouring out my temples with this. This is what we call draping. Um, and then I'm using the great pigment with a fluffy brush and I'm going right on top of those blushes and that pigment um, just to give an iridescent purpley effect and then I'm spraying my brush with the pink opal pigment again spraying it really intensifies the color as you can see and on top of that great pigment now it looks kind of like an iridescent pinky purple now this is the Dirty Plum blush, and I'm using that to really contour out the cheekbones. Again, you could use even a darker um, purple eyeshadow if you have, so you don't have to have this um, particular blush. And then I'm taking that same blush, and I'm going in my crease with it, and I'm using that to kind of blow it out and kind of transition it into my cheeks. And now I'm using NARS Casino Bronzer with a fluffy blending brush, and I'm using that to snatch my nose because Rihanna's nose was snatched for the gods. So that's what I'm doing. Make sure it's not too warm of a bronzer. Nothing with a lot of orange tones to it. And then I'm gonna actually bring that all the way up, yep, into my brows with another fluffy brush. It gives it more of an editorial, high fashion, Met Gala look. I also highlighted my cupid's bow and my nose with the pink copal pigment. This is Belmar Lip Liner from NARS, and I'm horrible, horrible at foaming lips, as you can see, I need to work on that. But I'm just using that to define the cupid's bow and to contour out the lips. And I leave the center kind of plain because I'm gonna fill that in. So I'm gonna fill in the center of my lips with uh, NARS Never Say Never Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. Really pretty color. On its own, it's actually really pretty. And then I go on top of all of that with NARS Trend Blue uh, Velvet Satin Pencil to give it that burgundy vibe. Now I'm curling my lashes. I always curl my lashes. And then I'm going to tight line or line the top waterline of my eyes with NARS Via Veneto Eyeliner. Any black eyeliner will work. Just so there's no gaps between my lashes. And then I'm going to do a nice heavy coat of light cameras lashes from uh, Tarte Cosmetics. And then I'm taking Via Veneto eyeliner, the black eyeliner, and I'm going, I'm filming this so beautifully, um, in the outer corners of my mouth, and I'm just blending them in. I keep like swishing my lips together to really contour out the lips. All right, guys, that completes the video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of Rihanna at the Met Gala 2017. Um, I use these Huda Beauty Claudia. Claudia eyelashes, which are really beautiful. They're so fun and wispy um, and really, really like spiky. And yeah, I love this makeup look. I think it's so beautiful. Um, Laura Arellano um, is the makeup artist for Rihanna and she's like literally one of my favorite makeup artists ever. I've been following her since like way back in the day when she barely had any um, followers on Instagram and I think that she's just so inspiring and amazing every time I watch another I look at another look of hers I'm so inspired I'm like holy crap I wish I could get to that level one day I think she's just amazing like I don't even think she knows how amazing she is but anyway this is my take on her makeup my humble take on her makeup I use lots of pigments to get this kind of shine I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so 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 much for watching and as always please like like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell in the corner. That way you get notified every time I have a new video, and you can be the first to know, and you can see it and enjoy it, hopefully. Um, thank you so, so much. Leave any comments below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.